We are happy to announce to you that the long-awaited Benifa UI for WinForms version 1.5.4 is finally out. In this version we have done a lot of improvements based on your feedback. We have also added a few features. In this version we have done bug fixing and feature enhancements for some of the controls. We are doing this in a phased approach and as a result not all controls have been covered. Here are the controls that we have upgraded to vector format, Benifu button, Benifu checkbox, Benifu label, Benifu progress bar and Benifu text box. Further to fixing bugs, we have migrated switch control from bitmap to vector. This solves the GDI issue that was being experienced in the previous version. In addition we have added flexibility so you can tweak it and achieve your desired style. You will also note very cool animations that you can implement. We have upgraded the checkbox control from bitmap form to vector form. In addition we have added more properties to give you flexibility thus enabling you to customize to your liking. You will also notice very cool animations when clicking. This will improve the overall user experience of your design. You can now customize your radio button now more than ever. We have also migrated the radio button from bitmap to vector, hence allowing it to scale properly. The new look progress bar gives you more flexibility than ever before. Properties include ability to customize edges, progress bar size, add gradients, colors and thickness with ease. In addition we have fixed progress bar GDI issue in the current progress bar dispose as well. This was achieved by moving the progress bar from bitmap to vector form 2. This new version comes with changes in pricing. We have added immense value to the product in last two years and ahead of this version release. In this new version, the quality of the controls has improved through the enhancements highlighted. In addition, there is more flexibility added to each upgraded user control. As a result, we have revised our pricing up so we can maintain and continue to provide more value to you. Here were the reasons for the delay. We were migrating to a new server hence there were a lot of moving parts which include user data and extra related programs. We were implementing a new licensing platform on the new server and thus testing has taken a bit longer. We also moved to a new domain. As a result this has compounded the moving parts. We were very keen in ensuring that no user data is lost along the way and that all active users have continuity. We were also testing on compatibility for new set of controls developed. These were the few challenges we were facing as we strive much to release. We were making good progress thus far and we are now 100% completion. This is the first time we're facing such multiplicity of challenges as these and we're confident that our next releases will be faster after this hurdle. One of the best updates this release is the vector-based rendering on controls. We received many bugs last year and most of them were rendering, resizing and GDI related bugs. We tried to fix them using the current .NET bitmap graphics implementation but issues have kept cropping up. To solve this, we rewrote most controls in vector graphics for the next version to be released on version 1.5.4. This solves all bugs related to scaling, rendering and disposing of GDI objects which have been major issues in the current version. In addition to bug fixing we have added enhancements for some of the controls that will give you more flexibility in your UI design. Another major update is that there has been a lot of license reset requests through our support. We've noted this and we shall be migrating to a new licensing platform in version 1.5.4. The migration will solve the session issue in the user account where it will give power to users to manage their own devices. What's new? No installable programs to install on your computer. Installer and license manager tool is now inbuilt in your DLLs. Drag DLL to Toolbox to integrate to your project. The license status info can be viewed directly from Visual Studio without leaving the IDE. Updates can be pushed directly to your IDE. Controls come in different compressed DLLs. The developer can choose what control, component or feature he she wants to use. Making application lightweight. DLL checksum checks. 
the package manager can check the DLL's authenticity and broken DLL's. Beneath licensing comes with online license manager. This portal enables the client can log in using his purchase email. And he she can retrieve licenses without having to call support, manage existing licenses, manage devices and even teams for enterprise clients. User can also view real-time documentation and change logs. Offline change logs and documentations too. Finally, we did redesign out website. The product website will get a facelift that will ensure you get a better experience. Sections will be filled with examples that will help you get started and or get inspired. Go to beneathaframework.com and try the new release. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>